What's up you guys and welcome back to our channel if you're new my name's julia welcome to our little family here on the internet um i'm doing a massive just like fall winter haul today of a bunch of different categories um home fashion makeup all things that i've just been purchasing over the past few months and i haven't had a chance to like show them and i thought with um black friday week this week that it would just be good inspo to get ideas for things to shop um i don't know if everything's gonna be on sale but i've bought a lot of this all recently so you could probably definitely find it lots of different retailers and stuff but um yeah i just thought i'd share all the things that i've been finding lately so much good stuff and I'm excited. So I'm gonna start and dive into home decor first because I know I've got some avid home decor fans and we're gonna start with the best. Okay, so the first thing that Hunter and I have been obsessed with, has been a really big home find for us, is this Way hand wash. It's by the brand The Way. And I know hand wash, you think it's not that great. Well, no, this is a very special hand wash and I promise you everyone that walks into our guest bathroom and uses this hand wash is like, that hand soap, oh my God. It's, there's something special about it. It has beads in it that like massage your hands. So it's like a whole experience when you use this soap. I can't describe it, but it's a special luxurious experience, but it's not that overly expensive um, and such a nice treat. So we've stocked all of our bathrooms with it. It smells fresh and great and it's such a hit with everyone that walks in the door, which is why I know that all of you guys will love it. So great little thing to have for your house, by the kitchen sink, in the bathrooms. It's bomb. The next thing that I've been loving um, is this candle from Pottery Barn that I picked out. I really love the packaging. I think it's super aesthetic. I love the amber glass, especially for fall time. It smells like leather and like wood combined, which I love masculine scented candles, especially in the fall time. It's smoky, it's warm. Um, if you don't have a fireplace, but you want that like fire vintage like scent, this is amazing this would also be amazing like if you have a husband with an office or a boyfriend that you want to like get him a candle i feel like it would definitely sway that direction if you wanted to like a little bit more of a traditionally masculine scent leather and wood it's, oh, it's so good and it's super big um and i think it's pretty affordable well 59 for this huge candle and i haven't even burned through it yet i have some matches like stuck in there but i will light it every night by the fire and it's just like amazing it smells so good so i love that i think um they have a bunch of different scents a bunch of different glass colors but i really like this one for fall and winter i think it's super cute okay next item that i'm so excited to share are my favorite bath towels in the world um which i am partnering with brooklyn on this small portion of today's video but this is 100 percent genuine and organic i have used their towels for over a year and a half now i love their super plush towels bath towels i get them in white and um they are having a big sale this week starting on the 17th all the products on their website are going to be 20 percent off this is their biggest sale of the year which is kind of why i wanted these are some of like my core home essentials these super plush bath towels and then also their bedding is the bedding that we have on our bed their sheets and then their duvet cover and the duvet insert so i'll list everything in the description box down below that we have from them um but i love their lux sateen sheets and bed duvet cover um oh it's just so good and i haven't switched from it in over a year and a half i just am obsessed ever since we got it so i love their products for home and the towels wash really well they don't wear out um they stay super white i will bleach them if i need them to get super white but i just love the thickness the texture they're luxurious but they're just such a great investment so um 20 off this week i would get a bundle i have tons of bundles of the towels and that's the best way to buy them in my opinion and i get them in white but they come in a ton of different colors so check out their sale going on all this week some of my favorite home decor items oh my god booker has my shoe booker i wanted to show that in the hall bring it back okay so next i went to sephora and i will 
show you guys what I got there. The first thing is the Way Fine Hair Shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos for fine and thin hair. I alternate my shampoos a ton. This is just like the one that I'm on right now, but I really like the Bondi Boost line for hair growth. Um, I like Kerastase, I like Arnco, I like everything, but this specific shampoo is really great if you have super fine and thin hair. Um, it's really, really lightweight, and I feel like she really understood how to make a shampoo for our kind of hair. It just doesn't weigh it down. It's like one of the only formulas I've ever used that does not weigh my hair down. So that's a win for us. Um, a couple of different foundations. I picked up the It Cosmetic CC Cream in the shade Medium. I just really wanted this for like running out for coffee in the morning or if I'm like going to do like casual errands and I don't want to like put on all of my makeup and I just want something really light. This looks like skincare. It looks really pretty on and I just needed a new color. I also have finally gotten on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Train, which I am very happy about because I was super resistant to it at first when I started using it. I did not see the hype. I was like, I don't understand why everyone likes this foundation. Like, ugh. And I use it and I used it and I was like, no. And then finally my friend Courtney Shields used it on me when we were on a trip and I was like, oh, I get it. I get it. It like clicked for me and the light bulb went off. So I'm officially transitioned. That's what I'm wearing today. And I got it in shade 6.25. And then I also am trying out their concealer, which I thought looked really nice um, in the shade 5.25. I'm also wearing that today. So it's looking pretty good to me. What I like about it is it looks really natural and like real and I really haven't used anything like it so I'm, I'm definitely converted for sure um next thing I got was the hourglass um mascara combo I was at Sephora and I saw this and it came with both mascaras so that was pretty exciting they make two different ones one's a little bit more natural and like lengthening and the other one's thickening so I really wanted to try both both formulas and I love the packaging. Like I love anything gold. It just looks so luxe and like elevated and beautiful and we love good packaging. So uh, yeah, really good deal for both of them. What I love about buying makeup around the holidays is that you can get so many deals for uh, products that are normally more expensive. Like you get money off basically. So it's a really good time to stock up on stuff. And then lastly, I got this Dior um, Cherry Oil Lip Glow in the shade rosewood i think number 12 holy crap someone had told me that this stuff was amazing and it really is it's so nice it smells perfect it's hydrating it doesn't evaporate like off your lips like other lip oils they leave right away it like stays on there worth every penny and the rosewood color is like a little bit more um warm as you can see and because i have really pink lips so i wanted something that a little bit had a more of a warm undertone because that like balances well with my color but um you get whatever color you want so that's the makeup okay oh this blanket right next is this really beautiful throw blanket that i actually got from urban outfitters and i swear my friend came over the other day and it was on the couch and she's like is this a barefoot dreams blanket and i was like no, actually, it's from Urban Outfitters, um, but it gives the exact same vibe, texture, but way less expensive. It's beautiful, and they come in just like neutral colors. I feel like this is such a good gift for somebody. Um, I love, I have literally a huge basket by the couch with a ton of blankets in it, and I just love having that around so when people are over, if they're cold, they can bundle up. I always sit with a blanket on the couch. So um anywhere that you want it but i think it comes in a bunch of colors good price point super soft feels just like the real one in my opinion next is gonna be a little bit more for the advanced home decor crowd i would say and my latest obsession which i've talked about a little bit on instagram is um collecting vintage textiles and i'm so obsessed with um discovering different textiles from all over the world because i think they add such a unique like vibe to your home and it just separates your house from the rest and you can't get every single one is like looks like its own basically um or it's just sourced from a different part of the world so it adds like another special layer so right now i have the blue one that i found on etsy draped over the couch and it looks really cool you can do a lot of different things with them i like to drape them over 
the couch, the back of a chair, on the edge of a bed, and I started collecting them. Um, this one specifically, the floral one I got from Etsy, and they actually have a lot of this fabric, so you can get this exact one. And then I have the exact same blanket in blue, which is on the couch. So I just, I'm gonna start collecting them because I'm just like obsessed with fabric. I don't know what it is. It's like the designer in me, but fabric is something that I'm specifically really drawn to in like different textiles. Um, so I love these. These are Indian comp Cantha quilts or cantha quilts. I can't remember how to um, I don't know how to say it properly So I'm probably butchering that but beautiful beautiful and such a beautiful thing to decorate your home with um, And they just look amazing. They come in tons of different colors and patterns Super special and this one is really good quality. and It's like under $60. I think like it's crazy So that's just such a small thing that can make your house so unique and like friends come over and be like Where'd you get that blanket and be like Sorry, it's from India. I can't get it. No, I'm just kidding. You can get it on Etsy. So, um, letting you guys in on that little secret. You're welcome. Okay, where do we even begin for clothing? I'm gonna start with American Eagle. Um, so the first thing I got was some Christmas pajamas. I'm so excited. Well, first of all, if you follow on Instagram, you would have seen me put my dog in this little, um, um, Christmas like flannel that I got at American Eagle. I got it in a size large. He's a puppy and it was a little bit big on him. I don't know if they make stuff for big dogs, but they have the cutest dog stuff on their website. I didn't know that they had that. And it just, I thought it was just way too cute for Christmas. I was like, I have to get that. And then I of course had to get the matching pajama pants and now we can twin. I actually got the joggers. So they cuff at the bottom, which is a little bit more me, I think. Um, well, Maybe I should have got the flare bottoms, whatever. I like them, they're cute, and I can twin with him, and now all I need to do is find a pair for Hunter so we can be a little family that's all matching, um, but that's super cute. They have the coziest stuff there. The other pair of sweats that I got from there, this is originally why I went in the store, was because I really wanted these Love Sweats by Airy. I just love the colors of like the letters, and I think it's they're literally just so cute. I don't know what it is. I went up to a size medium because I like my sweatpants baggy and I think they're going to be perfect. The smalls looked a little bit fitted for me, but we will see. And I love the base color, how it's nude, but with like pops of color. I think it's so cute. So those are adorable. And then lastly, I got this really cute bra um, that is, I really hate any bras with underwire. I just can't do it. I actually uh, also prefer unlined bras without padding, but this one has a little bit of padding. Anyways, my one of my best friends um, told me that this is like the most amazing bra ever, and she's like, I know you like unlined bras. So she convinced me to get it. Sorry, Hunter's on the phone. And um, so I picked that up. Really soft, feels like butter, so freaking comfortable. And a good price point, it's, um, let's see, 49, but for a bra, like a solid everyday bra. I think that's really good. Okay. Um, the next two things are a few pairs of denim from Windsor. And I actually, they have really, really good affordable denim that looks pretty expensive and fits really nicely. I feel like they're kind of a hidden gem for denim. And um, you guys check out their website. though. So the first pair is this kind of light wash, high rise like flare leg pant with a rip in the knees and i love these i wear them in a size three. Oh, this is a five but i i have the three and the five because i was trying both but the three fits me better and these just make you look like a million miles long they're so comfortable the denim is soft it looks really luxe and expensive and it's just so pretty so i love those um and then the other pair that i love from them are the super high rise dad jean and these are more of a mid wash which i like and the rips are still in the knees but just like that medium blue the little fading it's a really really nice denim color wash and all under 100 or maybe even 50 dollars but really cute style this one's a not quite as wide leg but it's like more of a straight leg um so a little bit more polished and just like it's a really really nice fit though so also a size three in those and i'm normally like a 25 in jeans oh okay and then sorry i forgot these but last thing from american eagle are these 
little Sherpa slides. I know they're like super granola, but I love them. I really needed something that like to walk out and like water the plants in and like take the dog out and just like house shoes basically. But I get a little annoyed with like soft slippers because I feel like I lose them or they're not sturdy enough. I wanted something that I could kind of go in indoor and outdoor, outdoor in. So I love them and they actually look really cute with like leggings and tall socks. So I'm digging them. They also come in gray, but I like the beige. Okay. Ooh, okay, wait, I have two from Abercrombie first. Let's do, okay, two pieces from Abercrombie that I picked up I love. Um, me and my friend went in and saw this vest and I love it so much. It has like leather lining. I've been obsessed with vests this fall i'm loving like layering them i never used to really like them but for athleisure and casual wear i think they're so cute and this one i love it just looks like luxurious the leather accent you could like really dress it up and actually like wear it out to dinner or something and like style it it's just cool and i ended up going with a medium and it covers like my butt perfectly so if i want to wear leggings and all that stuff it's really cute um the other jacket i got was so beautiful a little bit pricier for abercrombie but it was so pretty i saw it on the mannequin and i was like i have to try that on so it's basically this like white biker jacket well it's actually a cream it's this really unique pretty color the fit is so cool um this was a medium and that's what they had i like my stuff kind of oversized so it works for me i'll probably layer a hoodie under it and it's really cool but it is gorgeous and just like that really pretty winter cream that is kind of hard to nail and it's really really pretty so i love that i've been like really obsessed with coats and jackets it's like a whole thing um yeah so next on the topic of coats and jackets i picked up this guy from bp nordstrom so flipping cute i mostly just love the colors like the deep purples beiges blacks browns with a pop of lime and like violet and I envision it exactly like this, wearing this with a ring, like a lime ring, jeans, um, a beige like pouch, and I think it's so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> I love this so much. So and that's why I wanted to wear it today, because I was like, oh. it's the cutest. And it's under 100. Really warm. Thanks, <laughs> babe. Oh, will you order me that radish bowl? The one, the, one the salmon with the beans and the I almost brought you home with that case, yeah. Oh, did you go to Bar Taco? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next thing from Nordstrom when I was there is this Topshop sweater. Now, this is a little bit outside my box, but I thought it was cute, and I kind of want to push myself to style it. Um, that's actually orange. It kind of is coming up, maybe. That's coming up orange on camera. But I just thought it was really bold and, like, fun, and I really, like, I'm just obsessed with checkers right now. Anything checkers, I want it. I don't know why. And then hearts. I love hearts. So this was just... It spoke to me and the orange I just thought was fun and cool and different and I don't know how I'm gonna style it yet I need to like get some inspo but I think with jeans it could look a little too 70s we'll see um, I might need something more modernized with it we're gonna play around with it but we'll see it's cute though super fun and if you like like bold patterns or prints really cute option um, and then last thing from Nordstrom are these little track pants. These are so sick. I love these. Okay. So they kind of remind me of the Balenciaga ones, but I didn't want to invest in those because first of all, they're really expensive. And I was like, how often am I actually going to wear those track pants? So if something is like more of a trend and I'm just not ready to fully invest in it yet, then I'll just go for like a more affordable option to try it out, see if I like it. And then you can always like, build your way up to investing in a better version of that item if it's something that you're wearing all the time season after season so mm, i didn't know if i was going to do that yet but i thought these were really cute but i've had my eye on track pants so these are by that brand it's a french brand yes france i think and these are black with like white stitching so they'll go with everything wide leg i got a size small and they're just gonna be super cute with like little crop tees crop sweaters you could even wear them with heels and like a corset to dinner oh that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna definitely pair that together that's gonna be so cute um and i just love them i feel like you could wear them at leisure or out which makes them duo purpose which i love so those are cute okay now we're gonna move on to urban outfitters because urban is like slaying this season they do all the time but 
I just, I feel like I've been almost wearing Urban Outfitters more than I've been wearing like anything. Um, so my first and most number one worn item from Urban right now is this puffer vest, this black puffer vest. I have worn this to the ground. I got it in a size medium and I mostly wear this for um, like to the gym or on hikes or really, really practical use out of this thing because during the fall, like when it's not that cold, you can just pop it over um, a long sleeve or a sweater or a hoodie and you're not like completely stuck. Sometimes with the puffer, you feel a little bit like Marshmallow Man. And I think having your arms free is super helpful and just practical to be honest. And it looks cute, it's fun to style. I've just gotten so much wear out of this. It's worth every penny. It's probably my number one most worn item. So you should definitely get one. Um, and I think it comes in a few different colors. Next jacket that I've also worn a ton is this really fun, fuzzy black and white jacket from Urban, which I think a lot of people have. It's like a popular coat, but it's so cute. I love the black and white. I actually think it looks really cute styled like with leggings and tennies just during the day if you're like want to be casual and comfy but it's also so cute dressed up with like a leather pant and like a heel for dinner and the pattern makes it like just a little bit more interesting adds like something to the outfit that is just a little bit more fun and it's fuzzy it's just so cute so i have this in a size small it runs pretty big but that's kind of like the style and the vibe it looks super cute with like a bucket hat it's just a no-brainer um and everyone that i know that owns it is like it's the best jacket ever and it is two more little jackets that i love if you're more of a color person the first is this um bdg lime green kind of more earthy quilted jacket again hearts stitched in there i'm just realizing that i'm very drawn to hearts i don't know why and um i love the lime color i think lime is so pretty especially styled with like all black or cream and I'm integrating more pops of color in my wardrobe um, and lime I just think is a really unique one and this is really comfy again with athleisure um, just with jeans and a baseball cap like kind of casual and the material is super soft I think I wore it with a bralette actually I have the bralette still <laughs> hanging on there from the last time I wore it um, and then lastly is this orange fleece from Urban which I love uh, comfy, super practical, love the orange color, and just kind of a fun item to get a bright color in, like a fleece or like more of a sporting jacket, because usually I just go for black and everything, but to have like a little color is kind of fun when you're wanting to, I wear like athletic wear every day because I work out every morning, and just to have a little bit of variety in like the comfy clothes is a little bit nice, so like colors and patterns, and it adds a little pizzazz to the uh, athletic wear. Uh, next sweater is from Pistol LA and I just thought this was like a really nice classic sweater. It's nice quality. Um, it's oversized. It's um, I got a size extra small and I just really like it. You always need like kind of the staple sweaters for your wardrobe every season to wear like on Thanksgiving or out to dinner or to Christmas and this is that for me. I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hunter hasn't even seen these. These are so cute. I gotta show you. Hunter's sitting behind the couch right now. They are behind the camera. Behind the camera. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what I meant. Um, cowboy boots that I saw at Nordstrom last night and oh, Carly and I, night? yeah, Carly oh, nice. and I were both like, those boots are the most perfect boots ever. We have to get them. They're so nice. Oh yes. Yeah. They're like a tall beige boot. Now that we live in Nashville, like I have to own cowboy boots, obviously. Um, I'm not a cowboy boot girl, but they're growing on me. And the, this pair was so beautiful. I feel like everyone should have this pair and they're like 250 so for like an investment in a boot it's nice but like not out of reach expensive We're that is a 500. staple boot staple that boot. color i know and the look of it i know that's that's what i wore wait till you see them on babe they're so nice seven years i know and they're like the perfect beige they're so flattering on i have like short legs and they make me look tall is that a like, suede or a leather suede, suede that's Isn't beautiful that gorgeous so run and i think they actually have a black pair I'm gonna order those today. Cannot forget. You know what's um, funny? Is what? I've always had cowboy boots. I've always been a cowboy boot wearer. Yeah. Until we moved to Nashville. And I don't wear cowboy boots. I anymore. know. Maybe you just need like a new pair. Maybe. It's sometimes here, it's like a little overkill. It's overdone here. Yeah, oh, when you're here, like the tourists wear a lot of cowboy boots, so it's like, am I gonna be another one of those people? But uh, one, another one of those 
people yeah but then like for concerts and stuff you kind of want them and it's they're really in right it. now they're cute i kind of just i think if you have the right pair they can be like a nice staple in your wardrobe um which i like will you remind me to look at the emails of the people that i reached out to about organizing my closet and secure that for before december yeah i have a folder um, for you oh yeah you did with it. all of them there I need to go through that. Thank you and so much. Almost done. Lastly, we're gonna show all the Aritzia stuff and that strap just broke. It's fine. I um, We actually got a new Aritzia in at the Green Hills Mall in Nashville. Ooh, that bag is, is it melting. Oh yeah, it's like melting. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, <it's close> <laughs> yeah, we have this new Aritzia in um, Green Hills and it's beautiful. So I went in the other day and uh, got a bunch of stuff and I get to show it all of it all of it to you it's so cute they have the best stuff and I really like going in person to Aritzia more because um it's kind of hard to shop online unless you're literally on TikTok and you know exactly what you're gonna get it's a little bit difficult so first thing the girl showed me actually she said this is one of their best-selling bodysuits I would have never picked this out because I'm not a huge bodysuit person they bother me but they do look like super snatched in some instances they are required so I liked the square neck on this I thought with like a leather pant beautiful um, just some necklaces it would be really pretty but the square I think is really cool especially um, for the winter with the long sleeve i just thought it was really nice and the material is insane really really good quality i got a size extra small on that another basic i got from there is this little guy it's a long sleeve ribbed black crop top this is honestly just a piece that i wear so so much and i needed um like a nice quality one she said it washes really well too and it doesn't like wear very fast it's by Sunday Best, and I got that in an extra small. And I'll have all this linked down below. Oh, this I'm so excited about. I forgot. I should wear this in New York, Hunter. Hunter will like this. It is a unitard, and she also brought this to me. I was like, ooh, I don't know if I would ever go for that, but she was like, no, it looks amazing on. And it's, I got it in size extra small. I'm going to style it with, like, over-the-knee boots or knee-high boots and then, like, a big jacket over. I think a big jacket would be cool. I also think, like, a crop fur. Yeah, that's not me. I'm more like tomboy. I wouldn't do a cropped fur. Really? Okay. But I, I see what you're saying. Um, but she also said it's really cute styled like athleisure because it's basically leggings, but like a glammed up version that, of that. What kind of material is that? Like, it's like legging legging material, material, like spandex. Nice. So she said it like cinches you in and we'll do the full assessment on stories whenever I actually wear it. I post like my outfits there every day. So if you guys ever want to see like daily outfit inspo, I'm always um, posting my outfits over there linking as much as I can in the moment um next are these little plaid pants which I love very 70s actually now that I see them um and I really like them they're just like a nice neutral caramel color but they have a little pop of color in here so you can kind of play around with the colors and styling it with and it just like sneakers and a crop tee really cute and just I'm into trousers a lot I really like them they're fun to wear and like a good alternative to like jeans or um leather pants just over and over again so i really love the plaid i think it's funky and cool i need to get these hemmed though so i should put those in that pile next pair of pants i got is all oh, these flared leather leggings so so perfect i got them in a size two they are insane they're exactly what i was looking for i want to wear them with um like a big oversized jacket a scarf and then like a booty Oh, so pretty. Black, so comfortable, so flattering. You need them. They're amazing. I love them. I next got a few big jackets, and I obviously have a jacket problem if you can't tell. It's definitely apparent. <laughs> um, the first one, though, was this like thicker plaid jacket by TNA. And I just am obsessed with the colors. It's like lilac, blue, yellow. And I thought the colors were so unique. Um, I don't know, just kind of 90s. I really love the mixture of the colors. They were not like, to me, like the typical colors that you see. So that's kind of why I was drawn to the piece. Also super warm, good layering jacket, very practical. And there's a lot of different colors in there that I could play around with. So I thought that was fun. Next is this leather shacket um, that I think is so cool. Um, it actually 
comes in like regular black leather beige but i really liked this teal i don't know what it is about it i would normally never go for this but i'm experimenting with more color and this kind of reminded me it gave me like italian girl vibes like they kind of like have this color leather in their wardrobe a lot and they make it look so good so i'm gonna definitely need to get some inspiration on how to wear this um i need to go on my back to my pinterest board anytime i like need ideas for like color combinations or anything like i go onto pinterest and i just search and then it gives me sparks an idea and then i just run with it but it's a really good uh resource if you're stuck on an outfit um and then another plaid which i know obviously you need to stop with the plaids is this guy and i loved the blue it's so pretty it's like a boucle kind of material zip up the brown and blue combo i thought was so pretty and i just thought it'd be so cute styled with like brown leather pants um i don't know it's cute brown dress i just really liked the color combo so another warm one and i think with some jackets you can get a little bit bored wearing the same ones over and over again. So I wanted some color and variety to like spice it up, you know? Um, last thing is actually a pair of denim by A Gold D that I absolutely love from um, Aritzia. And I think I could actually link these to like Revolve or something. It might be easier to order off of there, but um, they have these like this pleating at the top and they're high-waisted, tight, but then a baggier fit which is what i love and i just love the wash of them they're perfect i got them in a size 25 i'm usually 25 and a goldie but just like that saturday jean that you want to wear like a t-shirt and like a baseball cap with you don't want to like be all fitted and like you know cute you just want to be comfy and like a tomboy i am a tomboy at heart so i like everything like big and baggy it's just like who i am it's everything I was a lot of clothes, literally the most massive haul ever. So I apologize if you're overwhelmed, but I wanted to get it in all in there. And I'll have everything linked down below um, with sizing. You are welcome because that takes me literally two hours to do. But I'm not the type of person that's going to throw something up and not give you directions on where to find it because that's just torture in my opinion. So hope you guys loved it um, coming out with us. We're, we've been doing videos all week um, on home decor, different stuff and we vlog all the time our full lifestyle we're leaving for um new york actually in a few days as you're watching this so we'll probably be vlogging that anyways i love you hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon Bye.